Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Van Til and today we will show you in easy five steps on how to do the all-natural facelift or the self-fill procedure. In front of me I have a self-fill kit. We have three kits. We have a 16cc kit, a 8cc kit and a 4cc kit. What I recommend is that with any first treatment on a new client we utilize a 16cc kit if we will do the whole face. Um, if the new client is only interested in emphasizing or treating certain areas such as the uh, areas around the eyes or defining the jowl line, we could obviously use the 8cc kit. Regardless, the second and the third uh, consecutive treatments, I suggest we use an 8cc kit to emphasize those problem areas. So in front of me, I have a 8cc kit that we're going to use today on our client. We will emphasize certain areas of concern and what we have in the kit is obviously the devices to uh, draw the blood. We have a butterfly needle, we have a tourniquet and we have a device to make sure that there's no contamination. Then we have our yellow tubes. The yellow tubes actually do contain a gel separator because it is crucial that during the cell fill system in preparing the liquid gold or the platelet rich plasma that we separate our platelets from the white and the red blood cells to uh, derive or to obtain that pure liquid gold. Uh, so that's our gel separator. Once we obtain the blood uh, in this tube we will centrifuge this for approximately 6 minutes. After the centrifusion, we will obtain that liquid gold and the red and the white blood cells will be separated from this liquid gold. After the centrifusion, we will actually, with our transfer device, transfer the PRM into the red tube. Now, the red tube contains the patented calcium chloride, which will allow us to produce a fibrin matrix which will then allow us to have a sustained release of growth factors over, over seven days. Um, so once we transfer the liquid gold into the uh, red tube with the calcium chloride, we actually are establishing the fibrin matrix. Once we mix this up properly, we then can prepare the treatment and draw the liquid gold up in 1cc syringes. Usually for every 9 cc's of blood drawn, we will obtain approximately 4 cc's of cell fill. Um, and then we actually, our last step in the procedures is to actually inject this liquid gold or the PRFM into the patient's problem areas. This last step needs to go pretty fast because we need to inject uh, this uh, uh, gold liquid uh, pretty fast uh, before it becomes viscous uh, because at that point it will be uh, unusable. So um, let's get on with the treatment and we will explain step by step on how we uh, will do this.